All right, guys, so let's talk going to bed at night in your sleeping bag or sleep system or what, what have you. Uh, there's definitely different thoughts behind this. And I'll just share one that I'm familiar with and have done for the past 19, almost 20 years. Come April, it'll be 20 years. Uh, this is the way I've done it. <clears throat> so... Getting ready to go to bed, doesn't matter that we're in a hot tent that's 95 degrees from what we've last shown. Um, you could be out in the snow, under the tarp, whatever the case may be. If you're in a sleeping bag such as this mummy system, MSS system, or even better, some of the latest, greatest technology in the way of sleeping bags, right? Uh, stuff people use to climb Everest and that sort of thing like technology is Well surpassed what it used to be and there's a lot of good stuff out there now. So MSS sleep system Yep, it's never failed me but once actually and uh, it's good uh, This mummy bag never failed me. Uh, I'm trying it out tonight again going off a of past video, but There's a lot of good stuff out there but the way that I go to bed at night in these systems is stripping myself down, all right? Uh, and again, there's different theology on this or different mentalities and, and thoughts on how you do this. But mine is and how it was taught to me, you know, almost 20 years ago in the military was, hey, take all your crap off, stuff it at the bottom of your sleeping bag and go to bed. And uh, that's what I've done, you know, for the past 20 years. So I'll take all my stuff off, just like I said, get in my sleeping bag. I'll kick all the clothes that I'm taking off to the bottom of my sleeping bag. Uh, my outer layer, my insulation layer, maybe it's multiple insulation layers, whatever the case may be. Stuff them to the bottom of your bag so you're keeping them warm throughout the night. But I believe that when you crawl into a sleeping bag like that, no matter what one it is, you want nothing but just a base layer on you. Be it polypro, some sort of uh, silk weight is what we call it in the military. But whatever it is that you wear, right? Long johns, whatever it is that you wear for a base layer, take everything else off. Stuff it to the bottom of your sleeping bag if you're not hanging it up to dry and you have something new to put on, right? And my thought process behind that is your body's going to radiate heat throughout the night and that's what essentially warms the in, inside of your sleeping bag, whatever it is, whatever one that you're using. So take all your clothes off, just a base layer. You know, you're warm when you crawl in that thing, your body's radiating heat, and it's filling up that area of dead air space with your body heat, which keeps you warm throughout the night. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, and it's 20 degrees out, or less, or whatever it is, I now have something to put on, right? So... I can crawl out of my bag, it's going to be cold, I'm not going to want to get out of my bag, it's miserable, rah, whatever, but I crawl out, it's cold, it's crisp, I'm like, man, I don't want to get out, but I have more layers to put on now, you know, because my body has heated up the inside of the sleeping bag throughout the night and kept me warm, but now when I get out of that in the morning, it's cold. But I have more layers to put on. The opposite of that is some people, and a good friend of mine is of the belief that, hey, if you're cold throughout the night and you have more layers to put on, put them on. And that's going to keep you warmer. And I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. It's just another insulation layer that's going to help to keep you warm throughout the night, right? So I go to bed with my base layers on, we'll say, crawl in there, and I get cold, and I have something else to put on, put that on, it keeps me a little bit warmer, 
because obviously, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? The more layers I can put on, the warmer I'm going to be. The only difference here in mentality uh, with me and the, the people that think that way is when I crawl out of my bag in the morning, if I've put everything I have on, I have nothing left to put on and I'm going to get out and be cold, right? Whereas if I keep it to a minimum and I get out and I'm chilly, I have more stuff to put on. It's going to knock the chill out and I can, you know, get myself warm again. So a couple different thought processes there. Again, I wouldn't go against the other mentality because, yeah, it makes sense, right? If I'm cold throughout the night and I have something else to put on, yeah, put it on. And it obviously it should keep me warmer. But flip side of that is when I get out in the morning, if I have nothing else to put on, I'm going to be cold. Uh, and that's just the way it is <laughs> for what that's worth. But uh, again, figured I'd share that with you guys, uh, you know, a, a way that I've done it for the past 20 years in the military uh, versus a system that a buddy of mine has used for the past almost the same amount of time, you know, the past 18, 19 years, and, and he's very successful and he's good at what he does. So, again, I, I think common sense wise, well, yeah, I, I can agree with that too. Uh, I think the only difference there really is come morning time and crawling out of your bag, you know, if I have more stuff to put on, I'm going to be warmer. If I don't, I'm just going to be cold. And uh, maybe a fire needs to happen at that point or stoke up the wood stove or whatever, but, you know, six one, half a dozen of another. But, uh, again, figured I would shoot this video for you guys, just some tidbits that I've picked up along the way and hopefully it helps uh, if not I don't know what to tell you <laughs> but anyways uh, about to crawl in my bag for the night Saji's over here almost sleeping so uh, we had a good night definitely a, a good dinner and uh, looking forward to the morning for breakfast uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one.